Myself Satish Thalange, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. In today's session, we are going to see the comparison study between the normal network diagram that is activity on arrow and the precedence network diagram activity on node. But before starting this session, I would like to inform you that you have to view my earlier videos related to the network techniques for the project management which is related to the normal network diagram that is activity on arrow and for the precedence network diagram we have to view the, my earlier video related to the precedence network in construction projects which is the base for this today's session now at the end of the session the particular student or you can say the learner or the observer will be able to compare and understand the network construction rules between the activity on arrow and the activity on node. Basically in this session we are going to see the comparison between the AOA network diagram as well as AON network diagram. Now let us see what is the precedence network technique. It is also the graphical and logical network diagram presentation of the projects and this is a technique which was developed by the professor John W. F. This is the technique which is also called as activity on node that is AON network diagram and which is very much helpful or you can say which is very much effective tool for the project management in which we can go for the project planning, scheduling and controlling one. The precedent network technique will help us to keep the overall observation and the overall control on the various activities which are involved in the projects. And the most advantage of using this network technique that is precedence network technique that is AON network technique is what there is elimination of the dummy activities which are present in the activity on arrow network diagram that is a normal network diagram. The critical path is the longest path in this network diagram and which will help us to define the project duration. And the concepts like the lag or you can say lead are available or which can be shown in this particular network diagram. And we can show the various dependencies as well as relationship between the activities. Now this is a network presentation. Here you are observing that in the first network diagram which is the normal network diagram which is called as activity on arrow here the activity a and b are represented by the arrow and the events are represented by the nodes that is a circular node but adjacent to that there is a one more network presentation or network diagram presentation here the same network diagram the activity a and b are represented by the rectangular node and the events are represented by the arrow. Now the detailed presentation of the activity on node in which we are representing the activity by the rectangular, represent, rectangular node presentation. In that we have to show the overall details of activity. The activity description means what the name of the activity as well as the below that we have to show the duration. And there are the four times associated with the activity have the earliest starting time, earliest finishing time, latest start time and the latest finish time. This is all about the presentation of the activities and its overall detailing in the node format. This is a overall the slide which is showing you the dependency between the activities. Explanation of this overall fold dependency I have explained in my earlier video that is the precedence network technique in the construction projects. View that you will get the overall cl clarity about the various four dependency related to the activities. And similarly the four logical relationship of the activities are been explained in my as I said in my earlier video. So go through that particular video we will have the thorough information regarding the all these four relationship that is finish to start, start to start, finish to finish and start to finish. But one more point I want to inform you that the finish to start is a mostly or 
diplomatic uh, mostly used in the overall network diagram and we see very rarely the start to finish relationship between the activities in the overall projects now this is a, a presentation of the overall relationship between the activities it is a successor activities and the preceder activity the first one is finish to start second one is start to start third one is finish to finish and the start to finish this is the overall presentation which has been explained as i said in my earlier video here we'll go with the my uh, next slide where we are going to see the comparison between the normal network diagram that is activity on arrow and the precedence network diagram that is activity on node in the first network diagram if you are observing here here there is a presentation of the network diagram that is a normal network diagram in which we are observing there are four activities activity a b c and d which are represented by the arrows and their events starting and the finishing events are represented by the circular node the same network diagram if i want to represent by the activity on node here the activities are represented by the rectangular node and the overall dependency or you can say relationship between the activities are shown by the arrows which are also called as the events this is the overall presentation means here there is a conversion between the activities presentation from from the normal network diagram towards the precedence network diagram or you can say aoa network diagram to the activity on node network diagram that is aon this is a second network diagram in which we are seeing again the four activities and their overall relationship but the difference from the earlier example is what here there is a dummy activity which is present and this dummy activity is maintaining the overall logically you can say the dependency or you can say starting of the activity b for which there should be the overall completion of activity a and c and this is the same network diagram it can be represented by the net precedence network diagram that is activity on node here if you are observing that there is elimination of the dummy activity this is the most advantage of using the precedence network diagram or i will say the activity on node network diagram for the project and one more point i would like to mention you that here if you observe that in the oral activity on node that is a precedence network diagram there is a crossing of the arrows which we usually we try to avoid in the normal network diagram that is activity on arrow for your information when according to the rule of the construction of network diagram in a, for the aoa we it says that avoid the crossing of the arrows but sometime if there is no chance of avoiding the crossing of the arrows at that time you have to go for the bridge formation but this problem or this issue is been resolved in the activity on node network diagram next this is one more slide which is showing you the network diagram with the various activities and their interrelationships or you can say dependency similarly the all this activities a b c d and e are represented by the rectangular node in the ao n network diagram and if you observe here there is a crossing of the arrows clearly here in the second example again there is a dummy activity which is present which is eliminated in the precedence network diagram that is ao n network diagram this is the advantage of overall of the precedence network diagram again this is one of the example in which we are observing that there is the overall construction of project or you can say construction of overall project network by aoa at the left hand side 
and at the right hand side if you are observing there is a network diagram of the pres which is represented by the AON that is a precedence network diagram. Again if you observe here the overall logical or you can say the overall de dependency is been maintained in the both the network diagram but in the AOA there is a dummy activity but here it has been eliminated in the AON network diagram that is a precedence network diagram. This is a overall presentation of the activity on arrow as well as activity on node network diagram. The comparison between both the network diagram construction. Now answer the following question. Hope so you have answered the correct or selected the correct answer as shown in the present slide. This is the reference for today's session. Thank you.